Did you go to San Francisco to get away from me? Yeah. On this episode of Ghosted, Love Gone Missing, Travis and Rachel help Reese uncover why his former best friend Brendan up and vanished from his life four years ago. So we want to know more firsthand from you okay. about your and Brandon's relationship. How'd you guys meet? We like worked in the same hardware store together, but we never talked. And one day he came up to me and was like, what is your sign? Like, everybody loves you in this store. So I was like, well, I'm a Leo. <laughs> what is Brandon? Um, he's a Libra. And like, we had so much in common. We started hanging out all the time. We were talking every day, going on our lunches. During this time, I was confused about my sexuality. I started to have feelings for Brandon but he had a girlfriend, Maggie. She's like, what's the good word? Possessive. Possessive. She is. She does not like our relationship at all. Did she know what you were struggling with? Mm -mm, no, I didn't tell anybody. I would consider myself now bisexual. Okay. Um, before that, I didn't even know my sexuality. I felt like I was gonna get judged. Like, I used to get judged like that all the time, especially in high school. What about Brendan? He doesn't even know. I always wanted to tell him, like, that's my friend, but, like, he's going to judge me like the rest of the people. Do you feel like Brandon was ever struggling with the same thing? I don't think so. You said you hung out all the time. Like, was there ever? Mm -mm. Like, okay. I think he's, like, fully straight. And after Brendan moved across the country, Reese never heard from him again. Take us through the day yeah. that he actually ghosted you. It was November 18, 2015. I was about to take him to the airport. Brendan got a job offer in San Francisco. His girlfriend, Maggie, she was going to school out there when I was taking him to the airport. I was like, I don't think he should go. Like, How was he responding to that? He was like, I, no, I'm not going to be fine. So you all argued all the way to the all airport? All the way there. And then I had to suck it up and be like, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to support you into moving. You're going to do good. He was like, I'm going to FaceTime you as soon as I land. Within hours, nothing. I'm FaceTiming, blowing his phone up. Makes you know I'm getting blocked everywhere. Reese has his suspicions about why he's blocked. And I think it's because of that girl, Maggie. She wants to bring him and keep him away from me. Something like that. How long was Brandon with Maggie? Five years, I think long. Five a years. Little did bit you guys longer. date, go on double dates and oh, stuff hell together? No. She did not like me. She was like, throw shade about like, why you gotta go rock climbing with him? Why does it gotta she be? She was jealous him? of your relationship. Yeah, and I don't know why. Then, out of the blue, Brandon reached out. Well, sort of. In the four years since you've been ghosted, have you guys had any interactions at all? He sent me like a request for like four months ago on my Instagram. Did you accept it? No. <laughs> Why not? No, this is a problem. <laughs> what I did was send a request back instead of accepting it. Does he accept your request? No. I can't get no communication with them. Before Travis and Rachel start their research, Reese has a confession to make. Reese, I got to ask, are you in love with Brendan? Yes. I'll say, yeah, I'm in love with him. I'm ready to admit, tell the truth and apologize if I made him uncomfortable in any way. I want a broship friendship. I want that back. Long as that we have that friendship back, that's all that matters. First, Travis and Rachel meet with Reese's cousin, Khadija, who worked at the hardware store with him. We're trying to get some insight on what the relationship or friendship was like between Brendan and Reese. He says they were close. They he were. He says that he opened up a lot to him in ways that he's never opened up to a friend before. Reese and Brendan were always together. They were really close best friends. Inseparable. Yeah, best friends, for real. Did Brennan ever mention being uncomfortable around Reese? Reese, he was really flamboyant. Like, he was, it's Reese, like, you you know? But that never bothered Brendan. Um, OK, well, there was this one time okay. in the break room. Me and Brendan were sitting at the table eating, and when Reese was coming towards the table, he did, like, one of these. No eye contact with Brendan. But just just, and just said, what, like it was normal, but it And how did Brendan respond? His face was like, I will never forget how his face looked. He was, it was like awkward. Did you talk about it with Reese? No, like a few weeks later, Brendan changed shifts. A few he weeks. changed shifts? Yeah. And then after he changed shifts, he just left. And he never told you why he was putting in his no, two weeks? It's, you know, this is a conservative town, so he probably wasn't that comfortable. He wouldn't think that Reese would overstep that boundary with him. With some new info and a lot of questions, the trio heads to San Francisco, where they meet up with the very surprised Maggie. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? I came to ask you a question. It's, well, several questions, actually. So hopefully we can have an adult conversation. This is literally crazy. Why are you here right now? Um, OK, let's get this out the way. Why do you have this attitude towards me all the time? I'm just confused. You're so disrespectful to me. You're just like intense and crazy. And like, you're literally always trying to like weasel your way into our relationship, like squirm your way in. I don't know. It was just like so intense. The way that you affected Brendan. Effective? I know you guys were friends, but like he would come home after like being with you, just like so upset and uncomfortable. And I, I just seen that and this is like my partner. You took my best friend, like my bro, like that's gone. I didn't take him anywhere. You know, I moved out here. It's his decision to come with me. He's like a grown man and he You're makes his too. own decisions. Did you ever give I'm him an ultimatum? Lie. No, of course not. But Love. it was Love. like a great little cherry on top to move away from race. Not gonna lie. I mean, me and Brendan have been together or were together for so long. And you said we were together. Are you guys still together? No, we're not anymore. We broke up like four months ago. Oh my God. Four months ago? Can I ask why? Well, yeah, I actually like met somebody else. We're still really good friends though. I mean, okay. we'll always be friends. After their encounter with Maggie, Brendan finally gets in touch. Whoa. Hold on, that's Brendan. Brendan just texted me. No. I'm not kidding. He said, Maggie just texted me and told me Reese is here. Okay, I'll meet with you. Just tell me when and where. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. See how quickly stuff can turn here? God must be on my side today. That's huge, Reese. And since both parties are down, it's time for these former friends to see each other for the first time in four years. Wow. <laughs> you have no idea what I've been through for the last four years. You were like everything to me. You were like the only person that I can go to. And then you just left. So I went to go see Maggie. I had to get answers from her, of all people. And then you hear that you guys are not together. It's been four months. You know, you sent me a request on Instagram, and then I sent you a message. I didn't get no response, nothing. Like, you just brought me all the way back from being out of, like, going out of depression. Like, I was out of the depression, and then you put me right back in there. I know it's been four years, it sounds crazy, but I am in love with you. <sighs> I am bisexual. I have not told anybody. I couldn't even share it with you. This is like one of the hardest things I ever had to do in my life. We were supposed to be best friends. Like, I'm confused. Like, did I make you uncomfortable? Did you not like how my attitude was? Did you go to San Francisco to get away from me? Yeah. That would just put a whole freaking bullet in my chest right now. Like, why? I need to know why you ghosted me. I'm sorry that you feel this way and I'm sorry that you feel that I wasn't there for you when you're going through this time. I do miss our friendship, but I've been going through my own stuff and it's been difficult. Even like Maggie, like Maggie's a big part of the reason why I'm even here today. She just told me like I had to just come and like hear you out. The real reason that I ghosted you is because I'm gay. It's been really hard to like, <laughs> find myself and um, I thought me and Maggie were going to be together forever but I'm starting to realize who I really am. I was scared back then. I didn't know how to feel. Well, we come from a conservative town so. Brendan you said earlier that you left Illinois because of Reese. Why did you say that? I could feel that he had feelings for me and I didn't 
know how to react to you having feelings to me at the time. I was just very confused. I felt like getting away from you would have given me and Maggie a better relationship. I did love you too. When you said goodbye to me at the airport and we hugged, I just knew. I just knew that there was something there, but I just didn't want to, I just didn't know how, I guess. I don't know. I did reach out to you four months ago. I sent you a friend request. And when I saw you message me, I just didn't know how to respond at the time. And I wish I could have been there for you, but I'm here now. With everything out on the table, it's time for Brendan and Reese to decide if they want to make up or ghost for good. Please send a final text now. Okay, Reese, what did you decide? I would love to have like a relationship with you. So I've decided makeup. Brendan, what did you decide? I've decided to make up as well. Just seeing you again just brings all my feelings back and I'm excited to see what the future has. He's tall as Oh, you guys. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> you guys. Group hug, group hug, group hug. Can we get out of here? Yeah. <laughs> A happy ending. Now that two months have passed, are things still solid between them? Reese! Yo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> What's up, dude? <gasps> In San Francisco? This feels like a good day. We went everywhere together. Like, he took me to all of the nice places. Is it still just best friends? Whatever happens, happens. Woo! Yeah, Reese! <laughs> I couldn't have done this without you guys. Like, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much. <laughs> What's important is you got your friend back. Yes. All right, Reese. Well, it's good to see you, man. Bye. Bye. <laughs>